Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to look at a technique called push and scale versus follow me. So push and scale, if you guys have watched any of our live streams, is something that uh, Tyson Karchner, one of our other live streamers and the guy that you may know from SketchUp Campus likes to use a lot while modeling. Uh, and this consists of switching back and forth between push-pull and using scale to create uh, shapes, like progressively as, as you move through the model. Um, it's a great technique and it can be used to recreate a lot of the geometry that you can use inside of something like push-pull. And we're gonna see where each one uh, kind of has benefit right now. All right, so we're gonna model a couple things. Um, I'm gonna just move some melee out of here. We're gonna start with a, a simple shape like a wine glass. Wine glass is kind of one of those classic shapes that seems to have been made for something like follow me. And I'm gonna do this, this is, this is my method, is generally what I do is I use straight lines to kind of uh, mock up what I wanna see this, this glass look like. So with straight lines, I can kind of start playing around with, okay, how, where exactly are my curves gonna be? Once I've got my lines in exactly how I want them, I can come in with my arcs and I can start adding geometry like well, around the edge right here, around this piece as it goes up, uh, around that. And then I'm gonna go from the edge of that to maybe like halfway up here, something like this. And then from there, I'm gonna take that up and maybe something like that. Um, my, my straight lines aren't, you know, the required pieces I have to use in that case. They're kind of there to give me an idea of where I want that geometry to be. Um, obviously, if I was tracing a picture, it'd be a little bit different, but in this case, it was just to get a, a good enough idea. I got a little bit, these two didn't quite meet at tangent right there. If you ever end up with this geometry, go ahead and grab another arc and go above and beyond that point. Try about the same on both sides and pull it out till it comes teal and I'll give you a much smoother meeting between those two lines. Get rid of those extra lines. Oh, there's another one, so tiny. All right, there we go. Um, there we go. And one of the things I do wanna do, maybe this is a little bit too wide, I'll bring it in a little bit. Uh, one of the things I'll do is I'll double click and then turn off the straight edges and then with just this outside edge turned on, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and weld. The last thing to do is to do a follow me. So I'm just gonna grab a circle, go straight above, pull that circle out, grab it, hit follow me, and then click that, and it gets me that shape. Um, I'm rushing through here. I didn't really, <laughs> that's it. I mean, it works. It's, it's more of a chalice than a wine glass, but uh, the geometry works. So that's something I would wanna use follow me. Follow me is if I want those nice smooth shapes. I could try to create something like this with uh, push and scale, let's let's try it. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this over a little bit. Whoops, got some weird geometry there. Something that didn't get cleaned up. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle on the ground. So here's the idea behind push and scale. I'm gonna push this up, then I'm gonna switch to offset and drag this in and then go back to push. Maybe I'll go like that big now I'll grab this one, scale that, and then I'll push this up a little ways, and then option push to create a new surface, which I can then grab that one, and I can scale that out, and I can work my way up here like this. Push again, grab that face, scale that out, I'm hitting the modifier key option to, to scale about the middle each time. And then I'll push pull again and then grab that scale. So this, this is kind of a, 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 I don't know, I guess I call it semi-organic modeling uh, technique, which will give me, you know, a rougher geometry than in this case follow me did, but you know, fairly close to grab that one and scale it again. A similar geometry. And then of course I could grab all of that and I could use soft and smooth then to give me a softer. The, the, the reason I'm not getting, uh, I do have a couple internal faces here so those aren't going away. One of the things I will have to do with this is make sure that my internal faces are gone 
select and delete those down at the bottom, draw our face back into the top, triple click, toggle, soft and smooth. So I can get something similar. This, obviously, if I wanted this, this smooth of a gradient up here, I'd be pushing every quarter inch and rescaling, and, and that's kind of rough. So it's not ideal for all shapes, but it does give me a low poly uh, version. So if I turn on my hidden geometry, if I say view, hidden geometry, and see a lot fewer faces in here than I have over here. So it is a tool that you may want to use if you're trying to create low poly dimensions. In fact, if I had started with like an eight-sided circle instead of a 12-sided circle, I'd have even fewer faces. Granted, that could also be done with follow me, because with follow me, I could have set my arcs to a much lower number and used a circle of, of lower sides also. So uh, it is an option. Like I said, that's what we're talking about today is options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my hidden geometry off because it's 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 taking away the magic. Now there are certain things that you might want to come in here and not necessarily get this level of smoothness for. So if I come over here and I draw a circle, maybe I want something with little harsher lines, right? So maybe I want to come in here, offset this like this, and then uh, use push pull and auto fold to give me a shape like this. Maybe I'm creating a uh, you know, hey, I just made a flashlight. There we go. Let's go make that flashlight like that. And then we want to put a like a, a cap on the end. So maybe I'll offset that a little bit, push that up just a little bit, grab this ring right here, move it, option straight up, and then push that up. And then bring this up, erase that. Or you know, if I don't want to erase that, maybe I'll take that right there and push it up just a little bit to give myself a little bit of a rounded over edge. So in that case, I was able to make that flashlight pretty quick. In fact, I would say that that was quicker than trying to draw half the profile and using follow me to spin that around. So it is another tool you can use to create that very, uh, you know, similar geometry that you use for follow me, but it does go a lot quicker. So just to recap a couple steps there. So um, start with the shape. This doesn't have to be a circle either. I'm using a circle for this, but there's no reason that I couldn't come in here and use like a polygon. So let's do something with six sides just for fun. There we go. And in this case, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to push pull. And now from here, there's a couple things I could do. Uh, hitting modifier key push pull. So uh, that is option on Mac, control on Windows gives me a new face, right? So that breaks it, so there's a new face. So what I can do here is then I can grab that and option scale. I hold down the option or control key, modifier key to scale about the middle. So it does uh, scale in the same spot. The other, th other thing I can use here is offset. So if I hit offset, pull that in. Now when I come in here to push pull, I'm pulling a brand new surface and I have this one down below. Doesn't mean this, this is, has to stay flat either though, because I could grab this piece right here and I could pull that up and let auto fold give me a little shape like that. So maybe I'm creating a hex hexagonal bell shape or something like that. So using a combination of those, uh, those different commands, push, pull, scale, and offset, and a little bit of move too. This was a move. This is an auto fold move. Uh, it allows you to go in and create that geometry. Um, let's go here. Let's, let's draw something. Let's offset this out. And then maybe we'll take that and push that up give myself there we go. that's kind of cool i don't know what i'm making right now i'm just playing um but you can kind of see this is the kind of thing you can you can just let's orient our faces uh a lot of options as far as how i want to come in and maybe i'm drawing a lopsided dumbbell. I don't know what that last one is, but you get the idea. So you can create very unique geometry very quickly with this. It is probably going to be lower polygon than what you would get with a nice, well thought out follow me. But you can see that, that that is an option using those commands rather than using the follow me on basic shapes like that. So that was all about options. That was about 
a modeling technique that you may want to consider trying. Like I said, uh, Tyson has used it quite a bit on his live models. Anytime he has something like a handle or, or like a cylindrical shape with some changes in it, that's kind of his go-to command rather than, than messing with drawing a profile and using follow me. And obviously it works really well. Everything I did here, I scaled about the middle. So you can see these are all symmetrical. It doesn't have to be that way though either. You could, you could as you're doing scale, you could scale one side back and forth and kind of get you know an odd shape if you're doing something organic or something irregular. That would work, uh, but try it out. It's a fun technique to use and it allows you to go very quick compared to the, uh, the follow me command, which would give you similar geometry. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment. Do you use this command? Do you use something like this? Are there specific models you go to this over follow me? Let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.